What is big data? Big data is extremely large or complex set of data, and it's so large that it's difficult to process it using traditional database and software techniques. Every day we are creating approximately 2.5 quintillion bytes of data. So where is this huge amount of data getting generated from? Earlier, we had mobile phones with the functionality of calling and text messages, or clicking some pictures maybe. But with the new technologies like smartphones, we have a lot of applications for music, sports, social media like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and many more. Also, data is getting generated when we shop online. So why does it need attention? As the data is growing, companies are capturing the data that streams into their businesses. They can apply analytics and get significant value from it with better speed and efficiency. Companies are leveraging the benefits of big data by analyzing the patterns and trends and predicting something useful out of it. For example, companies like Amazon and Netflix use big data to improve customer experience. As we see here from the statistics shown, by 2020, 1.7 megabytes of data will be created every second for each human. This needs immediate attention because this data can't be just thrown away. It's going to give profit to the businesses. Big Data Challenges Big data is not just about the volume of data. It poses other challenges as well, like velocity and variety. As a volume, 40 zettabytes of data will be created by 2020. This huge volume of data is either human-generated, like from social media, YouTube, or can be machine-generated, like through sensors and personal health trackers, and can also be generated with organizations, like credit card details, commercial transactions, and medical records. Another challenge is velocity. The speed at which data is coming into the system, the data needs to be processed with faster speed. And then there is variety of data. Data is not only structured, but unstructured and semi-structured data, like images, videos, and tweets. So how are enterprises using this big data today? Let us see big data popular use cases. Internet of Things. These are numerous ways in which analytics can be applied to Internet of Things. For example, sensors are used to collect data that can be analyzed to achieve actionable insights, tracking customer or product movement, etc. Many enterprises are creating a dashboard application that provides a 360-degree view of the customers that pulls data from a variety of sources, analyzes it, and presents it to customer service. So that allows them to gather the rich insights about businesses. Big data popular use cases are related information security and data warehouse optimizations. Big data tools are being used to remove some of the burdens from the data warehouses. Even the healthcare industry is looking for patterns in treatment that lead to the best outcomes for patients. The main challenge of big data is storing and processing the data at a specified time span. The traditional approach is not efficient in doing that. So Hadoop technology and various big data tools have emerged to solve the challenges faced in the big data environment. So there are a lot of big data tools and all of them help the user in some or another way in saving time, money, and uncovering business insights. These can be divided into the following categories, like data storage and management. For example, the NoSQL databases such as MongoDB, Cassandra, Neo4j, and HBase are popular NoSQL databases. The Talend, Hadoop, Microsoft HD Insight, and Zookeeper are popular for data storage and management tools. Next broad category is data cleaning. Data needs to be cleaned up and well-structured. Examples of such tools which help in defining and reshaping the data into usable data sets are Microsoft Excel and OpenRefine. Data mining is a process of discovery insights within a database. Some of the popular tools used for data mining are Teradata and RapidMiner. 
Data visualization tools are a useful way of conveying the complex data insights in a pictorial way that is easy to understand. For example, Tableau and IBM Watson Analytics and Plotly are the common tools. For data reporting, Power BI tools are used. Data ingestion is the process of getting the data into Hadoop Ford, which can be done using Scoop, Flume, or Storm. Data analysis requires asking questions and finding the answers in data. The popular tools used for data analysis are Hive, Pig, MapReduce, and Spark. Data acquisition is also used for acquiring the data, for which Scoop, Flume, or Storm tools are quite popular. The popular big data tools offer a lot of advantages which can be summarized as follows. They provide the analysts with advanced analytics algorithm and models. They help the user to run on big data platforms such as Hadoop or any high performance analytics systems. They help the user to work not only with structured data, but unstructured and semi-structured data coming from multiple sources. And it's quite easy to visualize the analyzed data in a form that helps in conveying the complex data insights in a pictorial way, which is easy to understand by users. Big data tools help you to integrate with other technologies very easily. Thank you so much for listening to the video. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.